Welcome, Thunder community. Uh, these couple of young ladies sitting here are um, from our girls' basketball team. And today we're going to talk a little bit about girls' basketball and just how we're doing. And, and um, you know, you've kind of got a busy week this week with, you know, three games. Um, and then Coach Sukul puts the games on finals week. Probably yeah. not the smartest <laughs> thing in an athletic director's world, but uh, trying to get 23 games in in a season is tough. So, um, but yeah, so I'm going to have these uh, uh, ladies introduce themselves and what year they are. And um, yeah, so go ahead. Bethany, you can start. Alrighty, so I'm Bethany Bonzer and I'm a senior. I'm Linnea Berg and I'm also a senior. And how long have you guys been playing basketball here? Here, I've played all four years of high school. Okay. Played all four years of high school and when I was in eighth grade. And when you were in eighth grade? Yeah. Cool. So we got some DCC alumni just kind of coming through and been representing well. Um, so you started off pretty good. You guys are what, three and two right now? Yes. Yeah. So talk about that. Talk about the season and where you're at. And I have very strong feelings about it. So it's really exciting that we won three games because I'm sure we, I think we might maybe won three games our entire season last year. Yeah. And that's been pretty consistent since I was a freshman. So it's really exciting that we're winning games, especially against teams that in the past have been known to destroy us. Sure. Um, and, you know, one of our losses, I don't really count in my head because those refs are terrible. But, you know, one <laughs> yeah, of them, yeah. I'm like, mm, I should probably let go of that. But, you know, it's just, it's really, really exciting. And also just the environment on the team is completely different than ever has been. And, gosh, it's all really exciting. And I love winning. It makes it so much more fun. It does, right? <laughs> winning. And that people ask me that all the time. They're like, well, what do you want? And I say, well, I want kids to have a good experience. But a good experience comes with you know, we want to win a little bit too, yeah. right? It doesn't mean we have to go out and win everything, but we want to, you know, we want to win and stuff. It so it, it does. Yeah. You're exactly right. So Bethany, what do you think about the season, the team? How's the team? Um, It's definitely like, like Linnea said, it's been great. It's been awesome to get some wins out there. You know, we have struggled in other seasons, um, but it is, it's, it feels like a different team. You know, uh, I had a teacher of mine ask like, what was different, what changed? And I wouldn't say it changed, but it's like, we just all click. The chemistry is better and it's so much more fun. Yeah. Like instead of just it being basketball, it's we all love basketball and want to go do our best. That's cool. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah. And I know, I know from talking to coaches, they're super excited. Um, they told me actually early on this summer, believe it or not, that Things are yeah. going to be, they just had this. So that's cool and, and stuff that you guys are finally, I don't know, maybe making that turn or something. I mean, you scored 71 points the other day, and I was yeah. trying to yeah. remember. I've been here for 15 years, and I, I don't think we've scored above 71 points ever. I don't think we've scored above 60. Bethany, at the second half, I was like, I want to double our score this first half to get 70. And she was like, we'll, we'll be lucky to get above 60. And then we like, got 71, and it was like, wow. Yeah, so, I mean, wow. good things. So, um so you've talked about some differences and, and things are, are real positive right now and, and stuff like that. You guys do have a tough conference, right? Our conference is super tough, not just in girls basketball, and boys basketball, but really in all of our sports and things like that. So what are you looking forward to this week in your games and then, you know, after the new year? Well, this week what I'm looking forward to with three games is only three laps at practice. So that's also one good thing. But also yeah. I'm excited to play Elizabeth today because last year, um, last year it was like one of our last games and we beat them by quite a bit, uh -huh. but then they're three and zero right now. So like we're two teams that la haven't done well in the past, but you know this season are doing better. Yeah. yeah, so I'm excited to play them and hopefully have a fun game where we win. But you know, yeah, I think that'll be really fun and challenging. Cool. Yeah, um, and I I like the I like playing games. I like playing games over practices. So I'm excited that now we're kind of getting in that time of a lot of games. I know that it leaves me exhausted. But it's, you know, so much fun, and I love going out there, and especially when we've been winning, it kind of lifts the spirits to want to go play more games. Yeah, exactly, and stuff. And then, so then you'll get a little break, right? We'll have some practices or whatever after this week, and then we'll turn around and come back and hit the league schedule and stuff. So what would be, you know, what would be a, a goal that you guys maybe have been talking about on the team or what you're thinking for this year? Um, Just kind of in general, just – we're always working on our defense, and I think that this season we've talked a lot about doing better defense. We've introduced a couple new defenses. Maybe it's just one, but it feels like a lot in my brain. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, getting more breaks and being more consistent with our layups, and I think that we've been doing a lot of shooting practices. Like, our practices this season have felt like they've been run differently than they have been in the past, too. Sure. So all those little things on the team that we want to tweak, I think, are going to change and get better. So that's also really exciting. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, and some of the goals that I know we've always had is like um, 
things other than points that help you win a game, rebounds, um, just all the, the boards boxing out, and we've struggled with that a little, I feel like, coming into this beginning of the season, but, you know, we've worked on it in practices and just gotten better, and I hope that it continues to get better and it'll help us win. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, I've been super, super excited. It's been fun watching you guys these last, you know, the four or five, four games that we've had so far, or five games, um, and we're super excited about your about this year. I really am. Um, I think winter sports has start off really well. And um, it's been fun watching you guys compete. So a couple fun questions. Um, first one is, um, so we're in this season of kind of thankful, right? Mm-hmm. Thanksgiving to Christmas. It's kind of this, you know, family, like thank people and things like that. What, would, what is one thing that you are thankful for? And then what was your best or what would be the best Christmas present you've ever gotten? Oh, <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> so we can start with oh the thankful first. First. Okay. Well, I mean, obviously, I'm very thankful for my family. Sure. Just, you know, this, especially coming out of COVID season and coming into all of that, yeah. being able to, like, talk to my parents and just that family, and it has been awesome. And also having my brother out of the house this year, you know, then all of a sudden I have a new appreciation for it. So. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's a, yeah. Uh, I think that's in our family at times, too. So, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Kind of cliche, but definitely thankful for my family and my friends and Getting able like to have the family get togethers again out of COVID and getting to see my friends, that's been great. Um, just overall playing some normal basketball, yeah. Yeah, right? That's, like yeah, that. that's been great. Like I, I, I think that sometimes we walk around. Like I was telling, I was doing a talk last week, and I was like, you know, we walk around and, and there's so many things that we took for granted, right? Like just yeah. playing, just coming to a sporting events where mm-hmm. we had limited numbers and we couldn't have very many people and everybody had to be spaced out and you really couldn't really play, you know? So I think that, yeah, that's, that's totally definitely a thing to be thankful for and stuff. So how about Christmas present? What one that you've gotten maybe when you, or one that you maybe someday would like to get or something? I, I just, I don't even know. Like I've got, (laughs) I, I don't, I can't even think of anything. Every year is, I feel like it's different because, you know, you get older. So, like, I'm always super excited about the gifts that I get. But one thing that I always remember is, like, when instead of getting gifts, we would go on ski trips, especially when I was sure. in Oregon and when I was 10 and we came back to Colorado to go on a ski trip. That was, that was really, kind of, really fun. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's awesome. That's super cool. How about you, Beth? Mine, I just remember I, well, I had two that um, happened in the same Christmas and they were my favorite. And I got a little, like, play kitchen. Okay. And I got a bike. And I have yet to have a Christmas that quite lives up to that. That's awesome. <laughs> that was like just incredible. Yeah, that that, and it's funny how we forget about those little things, right? Like yeah. whatever you know, back in the, just the trips that go uh, skiing or or just that bike that you probably put a thousand miles on that you don't really know. You know, you're like, oh. So anyway, um, I just want to wish you the best of luck this year. Keep leading well. You guys are doing a great job leading, and I truly appreciate that. And, um, yeah, and keep those uh, positive, you know, spirits going there. Um, have a great holiday. But uh, is there anything else you want to close with on the on our Thunder Talk? Or are you guys all, you're all good? Yeah, I think we're all good. Yeah. Good. So they would just want you to come out uh, to a game. So we got a home game tonight. They'll be away on Thursday at Coronado and then on Saturday down at Harrison. So if you get a chance, come out and support our girls' uh, basketball team. Um, It's been super fun. So thanks so much for joining me today, and we'll talk to you later.